From today, Tasmanian pub and club patrons must be fully vaccinated or risk a fine. With just days to go until the state reopens its borders on the 15th of December, there's continuing concern around children under 12 years old who still can't be vaccinated. It's projected around 14,000 people uh, every day will arrive in Tasmania over the summer break and that of course uh, exponentially increases the risks. As parents, like so many others, we will be concerned but we also have to acknowledge the fact that we can't keep our borders closed forever. Vaccination for children aged 5 to 11 is likely to start in mid-January. Then there's a, a huge amount of time before you, you vaccinate, I think it's 50,000 children under 11 and then they need a second dose. The Australian Medical Association in Western Australia wants that state to only reopen borders once 90% of its population aged five and over are fully vaccinated, even if it means further delays. The Tasmanian government isn't being swayed. The government's decision to open the borders on December 15th remains strong. Uh, that remains the case. Uh, we take uh, public health advice. For many Tasmanian tourism operators, their future is hinging on the current reopening date. The industry council says thousands could lose their jobs if they miss out on the peak summer season. Most businesses have been losing hundreds and thousands of dollars over the last six months. and. But they've also been hanging on to the hope that uh, we will have a strong summer. Tasmanian pharmacies are also seeking out additional COVID protection measures when the state reopens borders next week. The Pharmacy Guild is recommending they mandate masks be worn by staff and customers. So that's one of the um, biggest differences that we can make, along with the other strategies, to make sure that if we do have a case of COVID-19 come through the pharmacy, that that pharmacy won't be closed down for seven days. And with COVID likely on its way, masks are set to become a more common sight around the state. Selena Ross, ABC News.